from them coming. I love your outfit, amazing shoes. Um, how does it feel to be here tonight and nominated for this award and walking this red carpet? It's so exciting. I won't lie, when I heard I was nominated, I was like, oh my God, the Biffas are so cool. This is definitely one of the cool ones. Um, just because I'm a huge fan of independent film myself, I really, it's always where my favorite work is um, and it's where my favorite stories are told. So it's really exciting uh, to be nominated. And um, I just think what Biffa do is great. So. And for people who aren't familiar with the film God's Creatures, can you tell us a little bit about it and also a bit about your character? Yes, God's Creatures is set in a tiny fishing town in Ireland and um, a son comes back much to the surprise of his family and the community and he's kind of a, you know, one of the greats of the community, or so it seems. And then he does something pretty horrific and it's about the mother's journey when she decides to protect him instead of stand up for justice and how that can really destroy a community and other people's lives. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's a very powerful movie. Unfortunately, it's still a very... Um, you know, it's a topic that still needs to be explored and talked about. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it has an important message. And how did you see your character? How did you prepare to play her? And, you know, what were some of maybe the highlights and challenges of being on set? Um, the highlights and challenges, I'll start with their, those highlights, was being on set with the cast. I mean, Emily Watson, Paul Mescal, Tony O'Rourke, Declan, like, they're just phenomenal actors. Um, we were filming in the middle of a level five lockdown, so unfortunately we couldn't unwind at the pub in the evenings, but <laughs> um, no, it's a really special movie. I'm so proud of it. And my character, you know, she is um, unfortunately the really the, the victim here, but she's so brave as well in what she decides to do. And it's, it's just, um, I hope by the end of the film, people feel proud of what she does, but that they feel that it's a huge injustice that she has to go through what she does. I'm trying to be very cryptic, not to give anything away. <laughs> yeah, what do people, people can take away from watching it? And, you know, what is the importance? You say, like, these stories haven't really been told on screen before. You know, what is the importance of cinema, I guess, of, like, highlighting different aspects of our lives and hopefully, you know, promoting change? Yeah, I think it's incredibly important, and I, I, I genuinely think it happens more often in independent cinema than, and than not. Um, it's where people explore these very human instincts that we have and the effects on, they have on a society. And I think, yes, of course, there are much bigger studio films that can do that too, but there's something very, uh, you know, when you have to pair it back with an independent film to, like, really the story and emotion, and that's the only thing that matters, uh, I think that they can be very powerful, partly for that reason. Yeah. And do you know what you're going to be working on next? I don't know. I'm in the middle of like figuring that out, but not yet. <laughs> and how do you see the health of the kind of independent film industry, and particularly in the UK? What are some of the films, you know, elsewhere on the list that really stand out to you? Um, I mean, I'm I'm hoping I'm hopeful that you know post pandemic people will start going to see independent film again. Um, I think there's always that worry where you're like, oh no, we have to protect this at all costs. And I, I really hope that people uh, do do that. But I mean, there are so many. I really want, like Blue Jean and After Sun and also Paul in that one as well. Um, yeah, there there are so many. Um, yeah, it's just exciting to be here tonight. I can't believe I'm part of it. <laughs> What's it like working with Paul? Because I feel like he's sort of like low key superstar status, you know, after normal people. But he seems very down to earth. What is he like? Does he wear a chain every day? Um, actually, I don't know. That's crazy that I don't know that. But he's a lovely, lovely guy. He's very down to earth, a phenomenal talent, but also, more importantly, just a lovely person. So, yeah. Amazing. So lovely to chat to you. Really enjoy the night. Best of luck. Thanks a lot. Thank you.